The Super Blue Blood Moon is coming. What actually is it, I'm gonna try and explain. So the first of the three is the super moon, when the moon looks big and bright in the night sky. And that's a result of the fact that the moon doesn't go in a completely circular orbit around us on the Earth, but actually goes around in a kind of egg shape. And that means that sometimes it's further away and sometimes it's nearer. Now when it's nearer, it obviously looks much bigger, and it also reflects much more of the sun's light straight back at us. That means that when you see the super moon, it can look really big and really bright, up to 15% brighter than normal and it makes for an absolutely spectacular sight. So the second part is the blood moon and that's really just a fancy and quite strange name for a lunar eclipse. And that happens when you have the sun and the moon and we get right in the middle which means that not as much of the sun's light can actually get to the moon. And as what light can get there goes past and around the edges of the earth, it hits dust and other things that mean that it goes a kind of red colour. That red colour when it arrives on the moon is what we can see and turns the, the moon a kind of stunning, bloody colour. And the last of the three is the blue moon, which doesn't actually refer to the moon being blue at all, but it just, it's just a fancy name for when you have two full moons in one calendar month. Obviously, every month the moon gradually moves from being new, when you can't see anything of it at all, to being full, when it's a big round circle. And that happens because of the way that the sun and the earth and the moon move around over the month. Now normally you only have one of those each month, which means that it's fairly rare to have two in one calendar month. But that's what we refer to as the blue moon. And that's why people say things are only happening once in a blue moon. So that's the super moon, when the moon's big and bright. It's a blood moon, another word for a lunar eclipse, when the moon might go a little bit red. And a blue moon, which you can't actually see at all, but just refers to the way the calendar's lined up. It's important to know that while everyone will get to see the super moon, only people in some parts of Asia and America will get to see the blood moon. And as I say, the blue moon doesn't really look like anything at all, but you can know that you're taking part in it.